guys, it's Leah here with Southern Country Comforts. Today we're going to be decorating my fireplace mantle. It's time to put up all of the summer decor and to drag out that fall decor. And so I'm so excited. And so let's get started. for it but I thought the colors were beautiful and that it just really looked like fall to me and it actually it reminded me of where my parents are from over at Hardy Arkansas and um, there's a place where it has a big wagon a big water wheel there um, and that just reminded me a lot of where they're from so it has a little bit of sentimental value but I also I just love the colors and thought it screamed fall so I want to put that up on top of the mantle but the colors are really dark and it doesn't just pop out at me when I put it up on the mantle. So what I want to do is I want to give it a little bit of a backdrop um, with some lighter colors. And I thought I might be able to do that um, by adding in my old uh, window panes that I have. So I'm going to try that and see if it works. And if not, we'll just go from there. And I've had these old windows for years. Um, I can't even remember where I got them. I'm sure they came from a yard sale or Facebook Marketplace. I'm sure one of those two. So now I've got the windows up there. I'm sure I'll have to kind of adjust the positioning. Um, but now I'm gonna add the picture see how that looks. So I'm going to take a step back. It is quite a bit for the mantle, but I do like it. So I'm going to keep going and just see how it turns out. Okay, the next items I have, I have two of these large brass candle holders, and I'm just gonna put those on each side. And then I also have a couple of the battery powered candles that I'm gonna place on top of them. So we'll see how that looks. holders I found at an antique store. And if I remember right, they were on sale, so. so okay. And I think we're going to add in some greenery. This was a big, I think a big long garland. And that came from Hobby Lobby, I want to say last year. So I'm going to kind of just use it as a feeler here. And I had just cut it into sections. So we'll just kind of tuck it in and see how it looks. 
and I think you guys can probably figure out I don't really plan ahead as far as exactly what I'm going to do when I decorate. I like to use what I have, so I just like to grab everything, get it out, and go from there um, and just see how it looks. So I'm liking that. I want to add in a couple more things. These are pumpkins that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. And so they were each a dollar and they're velvet pumpkins. They're really pretty. So I was happy to find those. I'm just gonna kind of nestle them in there a little bit. They don't fall off on me. There we go. And I have another velvet pumpkin. And this one I believe I thrifted. Um, so I'm gonna stick this one over here on this side. Look stuff leaves there. And take a step back and take a look at it. I'm liking how it's looking. I think we need to add in some more of the leaves. I'm just going to snip those and I just have a pair of wire cutters um, that I usually just break apart the... Ooh! There they go. Let's see here. I may go ahead and tuck that in there and then set those back on there. They're very light. They're made of styrofoam, so they don't want to stay right where they're supposed to go. But I think they'll be okay. Okay. And we're going to snip apart some more of the leaves here and just kind of nip and tuck them in. I really like the colors on these leaves. Um, they're just a really pretty color. They're not too overbearing as far as the color goes, but they bring in a nice pop of fall for sure. how that looks. I'm going to see if we need to add a little bit more along the front here. And we may do that just for. And if I cut it like midway through, um, I'm going to cut it right up next to some leaves and so it won't look like it's been just cut off in the middle.
So I thought that the maple needed just a little bit more up front here. And so I had this bead garland that I believe came from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And so I just used some thumbtacks, some clear thumbtacks um, to hang that up there. And I do, I like how it's looking right now. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave that. Um, but I did wanna tell you a little bit about this mantle. Um, it came from my husband's family's farm. And they actually, um, the ones that built the home uh, was up on the mountain in another area and it was dismantled, um, brought down in wagon and on horseback and they rebuilt it where our um, farm is now currently. And um, it was rebuilt and then they used it as a homestead there for a while and then it actually turned into a barn, but now it's starting to just fall down. So we were um, gracious enough, our, our in, his parents, my in-laws, and they let us use one of the logs for our mantle and it, it just turned out beautifully and I just love it so much. So I'm really liking how this is looking. Um, I think I am going to leave this how it is right now. I may add in a little bit more of the leaves. I'm not sure, but I think we're going to start with um, the bottom now and just see where it takes us. Okay, now we're going to start with this corner here. Um, I just have some old books that I have just thrifted. Um, over the years, and so I'm just gonna set those right here. And I think I need a little bit of height in this corner, and um, so I've just got some, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, it's not wheat, um, but just some long stems there. Not sure where they came from, possibly Hobby Lobby. Um, And this is an old uh, milk jar there. And then I think I have this old copper pitcher here. I would um, purchased it. My husband and I went um, for a trip here this last spring and we stopped by a yard sale and found that there. So I'm gonna set that right there. And then uh, here's a little box that I found. I'm going to have to cut the tag off here, but um, I had thrifted it. Um, and I'm going to set that right in there. And I just like to layer things a little bit and gives it a little bit of character and depth. Um, I've got some flowers here. Uh, the white ones came from I believe the dollar store. Um, so they were just a dollar a piece and I'm gonna put them in, the, in this basket here. And then these uh, little red stems, I believe I thrifted those and I'm not sure where they come from to be honest. But we're just going to set those in there and see how that looks. I'll give you a little bit closer view of that. I have to shut that other window. It's giving a, a nice glare there. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. And I have some more of the dollar store um, pumpkins, and I just want to sit those kind of around. Some of them are kind of coming in down here. Of course, I only paid a dollar for them, so I can't complain too much. I'm just gonna add some more of those around. here. 
again, like I said, they're pretty lightweight, so it's hard to get them to stay put. And I think I like how that corner looks right now. I think I'm going to leave it and start on the other one. But again, I'll give you one more close-up look at that. And now we're going to come over to this other corner, which is kind of um, not the easiest thing to do. We do have um, this side table here, um, which comes in really handy. So I hate to move that, but we're going to have to try to find something to give it a little bit more height. So I've started out, I just have this um, crate, and I believe it came from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. Um, I'm gonna move that table up just a little bit. But I'm gonna set that there, and I have an old radio that I had gotten from an antique store. And so we're just going to set it right on top here. It's one of my favorite finds. And the girls love it. So that seems to give it plenty of height. We're able to see it. Um, I may try to bring it this way just a little. So it's a little bit more visible from the other areas. And now we're gonna put some decorations down inside of it there. Okay, I've got a cake stand here that came from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think they still carry these. I got this one a couple years back. But I'm just gonna set it right down inside there. And I have thrifted these. I've got two more of these little owls, but we're just gonna use two of them right now. And I'm gonna set a little tea light in there. We're gonna set him right up on top there. And then we'll set his little friend, and his little friend actually um, comes with a tea light, but it doesn't look like it's working, so I'm gonna have to change the battery out on that one. And, but we're gonna set him just right below him. Right there. And then we have some more from that garland, some more of those leaves to match the top. And I'm just gonna fill in around the L's there. We'll give a close-up look of that one. This is my radio. I have it turned way down, but still on. And so I think that's gonna do it for my mantle this year. I love how it turned out. And I'm gonna give you guys just a up-close overview. I love that old picture and the tall brass candle holders. I'm a pretty velvet pumpkins there from the Dollar Tree. 
bead garland from Hobby Lobby. Here's another velvet thrifted pumpkin. Here's my radio. Little owls there. Some more Dollar Tree pumpkins and some thrifted items. I just loved how it turned out. It definitely screams fall to me, for sure. I hope you enjoyed this year's fireplace mantle decorate with me for fall. Um, I do plan on doing more of these videos. We also, my two daughters and I, uh, we have decorated the front porch for fall. So if you haven't seen that video, please go check that out. Um, we do plan on doing some more of these. Um, the next will be the buffet in the dining room. And so please stay tuned for that. And if you enjoy these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe. And that will help me to know that you would like to continue to see more of these videos. Um, but for now, happy fall. And I hope to see you back soon.